Uh, Becky, let's start with you. Um, why do the Girl Guides not like page three? Well, the guide, one of our most important objectives as an organisation is to give girls a voice on issues they really care about. And the girls themselves identified this as an issue. And what they've said is The Sun is a family newspaper. It is available to girls of all ages, even really young ones. And what they've talked about is the impact that seeing those images, which make them feel like women can be treated as objects and can be seen as for sale, really has a damaging impact on their self-esteem and their confidence and their aspirations. And they think that is wrong. And instead, what they'd like to see is inspiring role models who lift their aspirations. Uh, Neil Wallace, for a time, you were certainly partly responsible for putting that picture on page three on a daily mm -hmm. basis. How does it feel to have the, the, the full force of the Girl Guides, the biggest, I think, girl organisation, if not in the UK, then yes. in the world, against you, up against you? I was so depressed, to be honest, when I read this story. I thought... Political correctness has even infected the girl guides. What this feels like is a group of women sat in a room of middle class women well, sat women, there. they're not women, they're girls to start with. A group of middle class women sat in a room and thinking, what can we do to be relevant? And then thinking to themselves, I know, let's leap on this bandwagon and get our girls involved okay. and let's put it to them. Becky, explain to Neil, who sat right next to you, what girl guides say to you about page three. Just, this is I, from the horses now. I think it's really wrong Cruel. to dismiss the views of young girls as them. political be... correctness. This is something they feel incredibly strongly about. And we should be, I think, proud of them that they've been brave enough to stand up to an institution they didn't, and did they? talk out. Well, of course be... they did. You asked them. No, they came up with it themselves, actually. There's a group of girls called the Advocates. They're between sure. 14 and 25. And they identified it by themselves and said, this is something we feel passionately about. We don't want to grow up in a world where women are seen as for sale. We want to be treated better than that, more fairly and with more respect. And I'm incredibly proud of them. They've been all over the airwaves sure. today fighting their case. I think, and, and I, think, I think that, you know, anything whereby uh, young people give their views is great. Um, but, you know, I've spent a lot of time on the... Um, website, believe it or not, this afternoon. It's a lovely website. It's a very good professional website. It's full of lots of nice young kids and it talks about uh, flower meadows say. and it Becky's talks just about said to us, cakes. But Becky's just said to us that these girls say it makes no, them feel see, bad. What this is, what, how do you feel about that? Do you not what care? This, what this feels like is let's try to find something that makes the girl guys relevant. So, for instance, on the website, there is quite rightly a, an excellent piece about but cosmetic you're surgery. You're not answering the question with the greatest well, respect. Now listen, what, how do you respond to, to these comments from these girls who are saying, very honestly, we don't like it? How do you respond to that? I think there are things that are more you important think they're lying. than page but I, three. But I think, with that, respect, what you think is important to girls isn't the point. It's what the girls say are important to them, well, and I we must listen like to them. Body image. That on your site, there's a piece about body image. How can you disassociate image? body well, image with page me, three? If you let me fin finish. Okay. I, on I'm your so site, sorry, we're going to have to wrap up in a few... Well, now, actually. It's one of those <laughs> discussions. I tell you, we're going to get you back, I promise. But thank you very much for joining us on this, okay, obviously, hot topic. <laughs>